So it's been almost three months since I've been trying out the Zera Grow, which is a smart hair growth device. And I don't know whether you have noticed there has been a bit of a change on my um, top of my head overall. But I have to say the uh, first video that I recorded, which was released recently, I know there might be some confusion here, but that was recorded back in the 14th of October. And um, today is almost three months, as you can tell. And um, there were a few conditions I have to make sure it's kept from the previous video to the current one, which is to have a similar growth of a hair. So it's very balanced and also the similar time of recording as well. So this is after work kind of time, if you see what I mean. And um, I just wanted to try out few things as a proof that it actually works. And the first thing would be using the thousand times uh, zoom in uh, microscope Wi-Fi device, which we we're going to get into later on. But before we get into this, I think the overall experience was quite pleasant. It doesn't really bother uh, me with my daily routine. I could get on with other works, other things, or relaxing time mostly, and just place it on my head like a headphone. That's I just love the design. It's very practical indeed, where um, you can actually show off to others uh, to pretend this is actually a very cool laser projecting sort of headphone, but it's not if you see. I mean, I never actually tried it so far, maybe on the Halloween time. But overall, the way how it works, again, is that you can try your forehead um, for five minutes and then slightly on the top, uh, like slightly angle forward, five minutes, middle, five minutes, slightly back, five minutes, and then back for five minutes. So it's actually for the session of 25 minutes of a routine uh, that could that you can try on. So immediately it will turn itself off after 25 minutes and um, each five minutes you get a beep. So you just need to make sure when you hear it, you just move it, notice slightly and so on. Now, one of the things I wanna actually um, warn you is that if you actually have a slightly long hair on the sideways, it might through the process of moving this it could pull your hair, one or two of them, because it get caught by the wheel action here. But it does make a lot of sense for a cost saving point of view because I presume this laser portraying part might be expensive and they wanted to reduce the uh, price. And also the um, practicality of it is that you don't necessarily need to do the whole thing. You can actually concentrate on a certain part. So this needs to be done on um, three times a week at least. There were days where I probably did it on, on a row, but if there was one day I didn't do it, the rule was let's do it today. But if I realized I did it yesterday, then don't do it today, that sort of thing. Hence, I am here. So I can see the immediate effect, which is that there's about 10 to 15, 20% of improvement of strength on my hair. Obviously, I'm not still yet fully grown and so on. That's what I can see for myself in the mirror. Now, I have actually been graciously born with a red dot on my forehead, which is like a point of a measurement to see whether I'm losing hair or not. Uh, gladly, it's still there. Um, and I just realized there were two or three very thin hairs started to grow. And I'm thinking, hmm, what would be the cause of this? And uh, it must be because there's no other thing other than I actually been trying few um, hair strengthening shampoo is very common one, but I think it's mainly because of this Zara Grow. Anyhow, that's the overall uh, thoughts and the impression I have uh, for the three months of review or experience. So let's get on with the actual microscope zoom in test, shall we? So I recall on my previous video, I actually focused on the top left and right of my forehead, uh, the beginning stage of it, and my crown of the head as well. So I'm gonna do the same test on it. So here it goes. Right, so we're just about to enter to the front of my forehead on the right hand side and I actually memorized how it looked on my previous recording and what I can see is that all these thin uh, hair are started to grow that's amazing actually um, I don't know whether you can see the difference as well so there are the thick uh, original hairs I'm not sure whether they have been dense up but what's really assuring is that those really thin, tiny, just about to grow hairs 
have been slightly strengthened so there's more dents in there but what's quite unfortunate is that I just can't see that on my human eye level point of view so there's definitely a proof again if we go actually further onto the top yeah so that's that's where I actually last time checked isn't it so let's go on the left hand side as well so again these tiny uh, thin hairs that are not detectable on the um, human eyes you can see from a thousand sort of zoom in point of view they are starting to gain strength quite promising they're still weak but this is very encouraging indeed so i don't know whether these ones are those um, sort of mid strengthening ones uh, so yeah they're clearly an scientific evidence that uh, in my point of view with no lying with honesty <laughs> there is effect taking place. Now let's go to my crown. I presume it's gonna be the same because there was no, um, so like, oh yeah, there's one or two maybe that might be a sign of a growth um, here and there. But I think there's not really much of a chance of those tiny, um, you know, youth uh, hair to grow here. They're, they're all thick, but it's not as dense that's all I want to say. Oh, actually I seen one. Well, there, there you go. That might be a promising one, but comparing to my forehead, there are very little of those to be discovered. Oh, okay. Here are some of them, but again, wow, we've got another one here. So that's good. So on the middle, well, I can't really be accurate on this one um, in fair, because as you can see, um, you know, it's just that, Oh, here we go. I think that's, yeah, so there are a few, same as the crown, where we might be seeing something growing there. But it's mainly my forehead and the crown that has been uh, the cause of my worries of a sign of getting bald. So we are definitely seeing a sign, a promising sign of the forehead so far. So that's really good indeed. Right, so this was recorded about um, three months ago. As you can see, I was wearing different smart glasses. It was the black color. I'm wearing white at the moment. And this is different to the yesterday recorded one. But you can see that the hair length is pretty much, I would say, similar in some way. So I think that's being fair. So to start with three months ago, uh, you can certainly see a central top of my head uh, being a bit bold and the crown certainly is the core of the buildup of this whole thing. While as if we go to yesterday, um, you go to the top of my head, it seems to be a bit more volume and the crown seems to be, is it slightly filled up? Let's actually double check again. Uh, since, since this was recorded in a similar time, I can recall as well, it was about five or six o'clock in the um, afternoon. Um, yeah, so that was the crown. So let's go to yesterday as well. Okay, well that could be uh, slightly filled in, um, but it's, I think it's depend on how you want to interpret it. But certainly when I look at the top of my head, it seems to be a bit more of a volume there. So that's very encouraging indeed, um, but definitely not like fully cured, but slight improvement. I guess it, it definitely is helping scientifically by using the thousand times magnification on my forehead. But as I predicted three months ago, because I couldn't see any of those pulps, should we say starting hairs on my crown, I didn't really uh, notice that much of a change, but I did actually find few of them as I was scanning through today. So maybe there might be a difference, but I think this overall strengthen uh, the hair uh, root as well. So your hair overall will feel strengthened as well, which will be pretty cool. But again, if I could imagine that this could apply differently to other people, I, I believe I'm quite fortunate that I was in that moment where I'm starting to really see a difference of losing hair or weakness of growing hair. So I just wanted to make a bit of a reinforcement sort of effect. And I think there was about 10 to probably 15, 20% of an improvement there. I can imagine that someone is completely bald will not uh, see suddenly all the hair grows back. 
um, but there could be a slight improvement there. But who knows after a year of it use, I might actually uh, you know, say it differently. But at this stage, there are signs of improvement that are encouraging. As to what they say, three months later, you're gonna see effect. Those effects seems to be already uh, been causing to me. I was initially concerned that this laser hole thing might start to um, make my hair lo lose a lot of hair, but I thought I was losing a bit in initially. I wasn't sure. Some people, when I looked at other channels, saying that there is a period that you actually feel like you're losing a lot of hair in the beginning, and it's probably because your your head is trying to grow new hairs and so on. Maybe I gone through that process. I didn't record it scientifically. Um, but what I have noticed is though I feel like I was losing slightly less hair on my end which is a personal sort of experience that I haven't actually proved to you today but I hope this video overall sort of encouraged you to get one of these but please don't um, believe that this is going to happen to every single one of you some people might uh, get the same result some people might get better result some people might not get a result at all depending on your hair conditioning and so on but if you have a similar situation as I do I guess you're gonna get the same result or maybe better or slightly less and so on so overall thank you very much for watching this video and I'll come back to you again in a later time all the best bye bye